Well, a bit of a mix for you there. Let's talk to Katie Collett, who's uh, the person behind this National Kindness Project at Diana Award. Morning to Morning. you. Morning. Why did you feel the need to do this? Well, we did a bit of research around kindness in the UK. And like you said, the results are mixed, but they're encouraging. So just over half of people have received an act of kindness from a stranger in the past year which is great, so things like people giving up their seat on the train or buying them a tea or coffee, but it shows that more can be done. And it actually showed that women are more likely than men to have received a random act of kindness. So we think that everyone should be getting involved on today, National Kindness Day, to do something kind for a stranger. Is it one of those things that people don't really know how to receive? Because I think about if I'm on a train or a bus, if someone gave me up a seat, I'd probably be a bit offended thinking, why do, why do I need a seat? <laughs> do I look infirm? Or if somebody offered me a free cup of tea or coffee, I'd be thinking, well, what's wrong with it? Why, well, I, I don't, I don't why are you giving it away? It. But is, that, is there a culture? You know, do we have this mindset that we're suspicious of anyone that's doing something selfless, which we kind of need to change? I think it can be very easy to become very cynical and you often think, why? is someone being kind to me but actually this campaign is all centered around princess diana so at the diana award um, we believe that everyone has the potential to give something back everyone has value and that's exactly why we're launching national kindness day today to re remember her values of kindness compassion and service because that's what she was well known for around the world okay look if you want to go out and, and and take part in this then um what do we have to sort of go out in the morning thinking right, i'm going to commit an random, a, a random act of <laughs> kindness today or do we just is it just a case of, of when something comes up and actually you can think i could do something here i think it's very easy for us all to forget to be kind throughout the day so i would encourage everyone to think about what can i do today who can i help it doesn't have to be something huge it can be very small from you know, offering up your seat to helping someone with their suitcase on the tube, um, and just well, see, telling us that about recently, it. Recently, yeah. getting off the train, <laughs> helping a lady with her bag. It was the, the lady who, who we interviewed there who talked about helping with with driving, just just let someone across the road or, or say oh. thank you when that, that happened. I mean, that, the, most of us can do that if we. Yeah, by most absolutely. Of the time, can't we? And the most important thing is that we want people to tell us about it. So you can use hashtag National Kindness Day um, to share your stories of kindness. And like you said, we want to inspire. 20,000 acts of kindness throughout this year as it's the 20th anniversary. They see, that's of not very day. many though, is it? Could you set your <laughs> sights a bit higher? All right, 200,000. <laughs> okay, there, you heard it here first. 200, can we change that in all our copy now? Because I think that would be. That, I mean, that would show a real surge, wouldn't it? It would, and I think that the, the most important thing is for people to think, what are the tiny things I can do that are really going to make a huge difference? You know, research shows that acts of kindness, you know, giving them or receiving them can have a really great impact on our mental health. You know, it can help to increase a sense of community, and that's such an important thing for us all to think about in this current climate. And in a weird way, through those acts of kindness, you're helping yourself. Is that the idea that you actually you get a feel-good factor you know, when it comes to Christmas, I think we talked about this at Christmas time, we actually both almost enjoyed giving gifts more than receiving them, the <laughs> yeah. pleasure of seeing someone's face. So it's, it's beneficial for everyone. It is, absolutely, and it shouldn't just be for Christmas, of course. So we want today to be a marker, National Kindness Day, for everyone to think, how, what can I do that's going to make yeah, someone else feel better, but me as well? Can I say well done, sorry, Stephen, oh, no, to, to the, the security man? All right, you could say it's part of his job or not. It doesn't have to do it. I was walking down from one bit of the sky to another this morning, with two bags and a roll of news, pile of newspapers under one arm. And he saw me coming, leapt out of his seat, opened the gate for me. And oh, I thought, that's, that's, that's a nice lovely. idea. That, that, that was at 5.54 this morning, so well done him. Don't yeah. put that on well, the kindness see, count. These <laughs> little things like that, is it can make all the difference to your day. Uh, Katie, thank you. Thank you so much. Been good to see you this morning. Yes, well, that's mm. I'm going to, when I on the drive home today, I've got about 90 minutes or so. You're always a courteous driver. I should be extra courteous today, <laughs> just in case. Later on this morning on Sahara, we're going to be debating whether or not we are kind enough as a nation. That's at 9.30. And we want your views, of course. Look, get in touch at Sky Stephen at Sunrise Isabel. What's coming up in all the sport then, Nick? Dust off your Venus, you like a space thing, dust off your <laughs> Venus eclipsed uh, headlines <laughs> as uh, Williams plays second fiddle to Britain's Conta, and Love she it. wasn't the only British woman going well.